once you filled out your initial uh, email that you received and set your email, your username, your password, uh, and you've downloaded the app, you're ready to get started. So I'm going to click on the app. You're going to sign in with the email you signed up with and the password that you have already set. Once you sign in, it'll take a minute to sync and then it will go directly to your summary. Uh, your trainer will have all your uh, stuff already set up. Uh, from this, you can kind of see a snapshot of your activity for the week. Obviously, this is uh, low because I've just set up the workout for the person. Uh, here you can add your current weight, uh, your body weight, body fat if you know that, uh, any of the measurements you want to add, and resting heart rate, resting blood pressure. So be sure to, to fill out some of these so you uh, can keep track of your progress. Uh, you can add progress photos. Again, nobody sees these but you. Uh, you can add them directly from the app. And then if you have any completed workouts, you can see which ones you've completed or completed cardio. All right, so from the summary page, if you just swipe to the right, you get to your calendar. These are showing the upcoming workouts. So you can see I've already checked in and done a, a workout for Saturday and Monday. So if I want to, to do the workout for Tuesday, I just click on it, it takes me to it. So the trainer will have you uh, a little description of the workout, kind of explain what you're supposed to do. Um, you click on it. If you want to track it, you're welcome to do that. So once you check in, the trainer will get notified that you have checked in and you have completed that workout. So we're going to go back, back to the summary, swipe over to the right, and you're going to be on your actual training plan. So this is the, the plan the trainer's got you on, uh, the number of weeks, and then so you can see it's made up of a cardio circuit challenge, uh, a lifting program, and intervals. And you can take a look at those too. So you can uh, kind of read the description, see what it is, add it to a day if you need to. Go back to the summary. So if you want to add add something in for the day, all you do is hit the plus key and you can add your own workout, you can add a cardio workout, body stats, or photos. And you can add that maybe if you do something additional that the trainer doesn't have on your calendar. If click on workout, you can add either one of those. So let's go back to the summary. Click up in the top and you've got your dashboard, which is where we were. You've got messages and you've got settings. Messages, this is how you can uh, get or have a conversation or contact your trainer. So the first one, the main conversation is kind of automatically sent to you once you finish setting up your account. Uh, but if you want to contact your trainer, you just click on the little pencil icon in the top right and you can write them uh, anything you want. So if you have a question about the workout, just enter it in and send it to them and they'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, the other thing, settings, there you can update your profile, uh, your weight, your cardio distance, uh, schedule reminders, uh, connect the account to your Fitbit, uh, anything like that you can do from the settings. So that's pretty much it. I hope, uh, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions about online personal training, feel free to shoot us an email or call us and we'll be glad to help.